back at the bridge, veteran Neil Eklund and his crew get to work building their 28-ton raft. Hey, bring the pipe pole over here. Come here with the pipe pole. I'll tell you right now, it's cold. Seriously cold. Laura's up to his waist out there. Neil's out walking on those slick logs. Must be a genetic thing. Today, we're going to start spiking together the raft. Yeah, we we'll get first spike. Woo! Woo! First spike! All right. This late in the season, weather on the Yukon can turn on a dime. That's cold work. And the cold, windy morning means Neil's crew has no time to waste. Yeah, you know, we're racing the, the weather here. It, it ain't getting closer to spring. It's getting closer to winter, so we got to get rolling. We got to get this thing done, or we're going to get iced in here. We won't even make it downriver. We're going to move this down and strike that end of it. Yeah, let's get We're going to build a raft that's about 30 feet wide and about 70 feet long. We're going to get a, a basically a box built, two big logs, one on each side, couple cross poles, and then we can start feeding the logs in. I think let's get down here. Good job, guys. Looks like a long rest to me. With the box frame secure, the next step is to maneuver more than two dozen smaller logs to fill in the base. <sighs> hey, slow. Pull it in hard. Pull it in. We want to get those over as tight as we can before we spike them. This one needs to go way the heck up there, right? Hold on. We're going to try and scoot this in a little. All right. And then you hook onto it real good with a pike pole. And I'll show you an old Swedish trick. Get it. Oh, oh, you're oh. genius. Under Neil's expert direction, the raft is taking shape. 